Helva, another great uh, hot topic these days is uh, creating content. Kind of a follow up from our previous conversation. People do networking and then they, they build their personal branding and now they have to create content. They need to express their ideas and to tell to the world who they are, what they are thinking. So in that sense, what tips do you have to job seekers or people who are not used to creating content and they are used to on traditional way sending resumes and follow-ups what can they do in terms of creating content when someone is sending resumes and, and doing different follow-ups they're seeking something specific mm -hmm. right so if someone wants to be an accountant they're they're applying for accounting jobs if they want to be in marketing or sports marketing they're, they're applying to those things yeah so yeah. why not establish yourself as an expert in anything that you're, you're seeking. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in sports marketing, maybe you will share your perspective on what's going on in the, in the business world of sports, or you might share some, some tips, or you might share what you know. Mm -hmm. uh, because the reality is, is when someone sends their resume, they say they know how to do X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Now, the reality is, is that, okay, Maybe I believe you could do it, maybe I don't. Yeah. But if I, if I don't know you, I don't like you, and I don't trust you. So how do I get to know you and get to know your expertise? So whatever you're seeking as far as job or career, yeah. you can put out content about that. Yes. Start post, you could get a story from, from Forbes about sports and then elaborate with your point of view. You yeah. could write original content. You could shoot a one minute video. Yeah. At the end of the day, you are telling people in your resume that you know how to do something. Mm -hmm. So your content should display what you are claiming you know how to do yeah. because specialists and experts are the people who get hired. People who can, well, I can, I'm, I'm a jack of all trades, I can do it all. Those people don't get hired. Yeah. And here's the other thing mm -hmm. that's powerful for you, for the listeners to understand. Employers will either view you as a revenue driver, someone who brings in money to the organization, or they view you as an expense, someone who mm. takes money from the organization. Yeah. And guess what they're trying to do to expenses right now? They're trying to reduce expenses, eliminate expenses, control expenses. All right. And when it comes to revenue, they're trying to grow revenue. So mm. when you present yourself, present yourself as a revenue driver, and that's gonna help you get a lot more effective um, conversations that will lead to what you want. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Show us what you can do and not just tell us, right? Even if it's uh, something boring or something that you think that people uh, will not have interest, in, they will be interested, you know, make a comment, you know, thank you for sharing your ideas, or I read this book, I recommend this book, or as you mentioned, reference some, some uh, ideas and give your perspective. I was reading this and, and show you what your thoughts are. I started as one minute video. I was giving one minute tip about uh, recruiting, about helping job seekers. And then it started growing from there and then I started interviewing people. Now it's a full recruit, uh, interview series that I do with a lot of people from all over the world. That's how I'm giving back to the community. I feel that you have some expertise and you need to show us, it will take baby steps. Don't go to the moon as you said before. Baby step, one line two lines, uh, one minute video, you'll make it practice and then you can grow and that's how you make, you, you can find your job in the future. Exactly, and you're doing it right now because the reality is you're not contacting people, hi, hire me as a recruiter. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna work, <laughs> you know? So, you, but you are developing trust and awareness and likability because you're giving value. You're getting great people, to, to do interviews with you and share value with your audience. Yes. And oh, by the way, I am a recruiter, right? So, so that's how you do it. And job seekers, that's what you need to be thinking about. Build your content mm -hmm. around what you're actually seeking. For example, you know, I specialize in marketing for businesses, but you notice how this interview is focusing on what I think 
from a perspective of a job seeker. Yes. Why is that? Because that's the content my man needs to get out there. Yes. So that we're showing you. So yes. go ahead, let's make this happen. Yeah, use all the tips that we are giving and implement it in your job in 2021. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you like any of the tips, please like and share the video and tune in next time for, the, for my final question with Calvin.